Well, hello everybody. Welcome back once again to 115 Gaming, your home for all the tips and tools you need to excel at Six Siege, the board game. And today I have another State of Six Siege video for you today. Uh, for those of you who may remember, I think probably about seven or eight months ago, I made a video titled The State of Six Siege. Uh, that was a long while ago. It was explaining why I was taking a break from the game or whatever, and I was expressing some complaints. Uh, I, I've actually taken that video down just because I don't dis I don't agree with a lot of things I brought up in that video, and so I just did, the video didn't sit right with me, so I took it down. But I wanted to make another one because the game is in a totally different spot than it was then, and so I kind of want to talk about that and also address uh, some recent um, controversies and why I haven't been able to make videos for the past couple months and just kind of lump it all together in one State of Six Siege video. Uh, so the first thing I want to talk about is why the Six Siege videos have slowed in the last couple of weeks. Uh, and the reason is actually very simple. It's pretty much twofold. One is that I moved recently, as you can tell by uh, the new the new room that I'm in. And uh, for those of you who have never had to like do a full big uh, move uh, away, uh, it was pretty life consuming for about two months. Uh, the month leading up to the move and the month after the move you know, all the packing and getting ready, and then when you actually move, the unpacking, and then rebuilding your life and figuring out, you know, your new social life and learning the area, all that. has pretty It pretty much took on my life for about two months, all right? And so basically, uh, that's why things like the year zero meant, the year zero meant, the year zero tournament uh, kind of slowed down because we wanted everybody available for the last couple of games, but because I was so busy for two months, that kind of fizzled out. Eventually, we'll, we will finish those last two games for that tournament. Uh, and that's also why videos have slowed, right? Is because when when I was moving, I was super busy, and I finally kind of freed up a little bit, which is why I started kind of uploading videos again, which is really nice. Um, the second thing, and this is probably more well known to you, especially if you're watching this video titled The State of Six Siege, the board game, and that is right around when I was moving, another little thing occurred, and that was the contribution controversy. Um, yes, that was basically happening around the same time. And so because I was moving and because that controversy was going on and it was like a huge big deal and everybody was super angry and upset, I basically was like, I'm not gonna make any videos during the time while this contribution thing is going on. Any video I make that's not about the contribution is still gonna attract negative attention. If I made a video expressing my opinions about the controversy, I knew that it would you know, make some people happy and it would annoy other people and it would make other people angry. And also, I just don't think my channel is about discussing drama or controversy. Uh, our channel is about talking about games and just the games themselves, pretty much, right? So I did not wanna make a video about the controversy and I didn't wanna make a video during the controversy because like, holy cow, I did not want to attract the unwanted negative attention during that whole time. Uh, so those are basically the reasons why uh, the Six Siege videos have slowed. It's very simple. There, I haven't, I haven't burnt out on the game. I don't hate the game, right? I'm not, you know, like one of those people who are now completely anti Six Siege because of the contribution controversy. Because obviously, full disclosure, I did pay the extra contribution, but that's obviously because you know I really like the game. You know, so um, those are the two main reasons that the videos kind of slowed down. And also a third minor reason, as a lot of you know, my computer is having weird issues lately and it's not letting me export or store videos uh, after I've edited them, which is super bizarre. Uh, so I can only upload raw videos like this one, which is really annoying. They're not as good as I want them to be, but you know, I don't want to just not make videos for a while until I figure out this issue. So th those are the reasons that the Six Siege videos have slowed. But I, I want to talk about the state of the game because the game itself is in a pretty different place than it was, especially not only when we started the channel, but when I made the last State of Six Siege video. If you remember the last State of Six Siege video I made, there were a couple of key complaints I had. One was gameplay variety, right? Operator and map choices were super limited. Uh, and two was asymmetrical balance. Uh, so I complained that the defenders were a lot weaker than the attackers. And I complained that the uh, operator and map of variety was not as strong as I wanted it to be. Now, in that video, I did concede that we only had the core box operators available to us. Uh, and so that did limit things somewhat, right? So all the critiques I made, I knew were only about the core box. And I also knew that some of the complaints I made would probably not really affect the casual gamer because they were not playing the game as much as I was playing the game at the time. I was playing tons of games of the core box. And so the variety felt a little stripped. So the game has changed a lot, and I basically want to ask or, or look to see if those complaints have been fixed, 
right? Uh, and so first I wanna talk about uh, gameplay variety, right? Um, for those of you who don't know, if you're not aware or if you're too angry, I just, I wanna call attention to this because this is pretty incredible uh, what MG did um, to, I, you know, probably to help assuage um, people's anger at the extra contribution. But either way, I'm not complaining because uh, look at the gameplay variety we have now. Um, we have over 60 operators. Uh, I think around over 30 for each side, both attackers and defenders. Uh, no longer are we just working with the same uh, six attackers for attacking and defense. Uh, we have over 60 operators. We have huge gameplay variety now in the game uh, with all of the operators available for both attackers and defense. I mean, this is just incredible. I, I haven't even gotten to play with a lot of these yet. Uh, because I haven't gotten to play in the last three months, which has you know, obviously been out of my control. But holy cow, I am so excited to try some of these new operators. When, you, when you're looking at this, I mean, there's just so much gameplay variety, even when you're playing probably as much as I'm playing and as much as people on the Six Siege Discord server are playing. Um, the combinations and team comps are probably infinite at this point. And we're, we're not, you're not going to get tired of this game anymore. You're not going to be annoyed at the operator picks anymore because um, there's a million different options for you to create a good team. So operator variety has been fixed. And there are so many choices to pick from. Not just operator variety, map variety. As you can see here, I've got a cafe is the map I had set up. But over here, we have all of the maps available. Consulate, clubhouse, bank, cafe, organ, chalet, coastline, border. All of these maps are available. And I'd like to point out that this is something, once again, that Mythic did not have to do. Um, but not only are all the maps from the Kickstarter pledge now available, we have these two bonus maps, Coastline and Border, which were made available not just for the physical release, but also for the TTS mod as well. Lots of map variety. I, I Actually, some of these I haven't played uh, either. I don't think I've gotten to play uh, Cafe, Oregon. Um, I've played a little bit of Chatelet. We played Bank on our last video. So there's a couple maps that I haven't even got to play yet. And I'm so excited uh, because there are so many, so many good choices. So straight up, when we're talking about the state of Six Siege as it stands right now, gameplay variety is no longer an issue. Um, there are so many options to play this game. Operator picks by themselves are an in infinite combinations. But now operator picks mixed with different map picks, you will never run out of new content to experience in this game. There is always going to be something new to discover, and I just want to uh, applaud that. Um, and secondly, with the new Operator and Maps released, you, if you remember, my second major complaint, basically, was gameplay balance. Uh, younger Ethan was naive and stupid um, for saying that the defenders were blatantly weaker than the attackers. Now, I, you know, I still maintain maybe with the core box that is true. Um, I don't think that's the case, however, especially when you include all the new operators, right? I definitely did get better with the core box and changed up my defense um, play style, even with just the core box, and the defense started to get better. But even if you thought that the defense is better, or sorry, that the defense is worse than the attack, uh, it, you basically can't use it anymore now that you have all these new uh, defender operators at your disposal. Um, there's so many more play styles now that you can employ. There's so many more gadgets. There's so many uh, different things that you can use. Just in our last video on Bank, I finally got to try out the all five trapper stack defense strategy that I've been wanting to do forever, and I won um, against Jack with five trappers. And playing five trappers was super fun, uh, super enjoyable. Uh, but basically, what I also discovered is not only just that there are new operators that allow you to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the attacker more if you felt like they were weaker, which I don't really think they're weaker anymore, but if that is what you thought, because I know a lot of people think that, uh, it's not really that case anymore with so many new uh, defenders, but also with just a new map pool, I've noticed that, hey, attackers may be better on some maps, defenders may be better on other maps, and so when you switch out maps and when you switch out team comps, you will find that attacker and defender win ratio really is 50-50. Um, that's what I've discovered the last several times I've gotten to play the game is that it's been a pretty even spread between attackers winning and defenders winning. So when you look at my last Six Siege video, my two biggest complaints were gameplay variety and gameplay balance. And when you look at the state of the game as it is now, the game is so much better, in my opinion, because we now have the full scope of the design revealed to us. When I was making that video, that complaint or critique, I was only looking at probably about, you know, maybe two tenths of the game. Well, now the full scope of the game is available to us. And now that I'm seeing the entire design holistically, the entire thing has come together. And once again, the game was already good before this, 
But I genuinely believe, I genuinely believe this is one of the best miniature skirmish games ever made. And so I just... I just wanted to make a video and point that out and point out that I think the game, the design of the game itself is in a really healthy place. And I think it's unfortunate that the contribution controversy, I think has taken the wind out of a lot of the sales out of those of us who were super excited about this game, which is fine for obvious reasons. You know, I understand that was a very angering time for a lot of people. And I think unjustly people completely turn against this game as a way to get back at MG, you know, which if that's what you want to do to take out your anger, that's fine. Uh, it, you know, I, I totally understand. But I just want to implore you: if you are someone who is angry at MG because you think they're scamming you, um, I think the biggest evidence for why this whole situation is not a scam is because the game is incredible. I don't think scams typically include uh, an incredibly designed game, right? Everyone who worked on this game made an incredible product. You don't really do that if you're scamming people, you know. So I would encourage the people who think this is a scam to actually play the game and realize that this is a really stinking good game. For those people who are angry or who, who you know, think that this game is not worth the whole situation is happening, again, I would, I would, I would recommend that you play the game and try it out and realize how worth this, this, how worth it this game is. Even though through all the trouble, through all the hardships, I do think this game is worth. The trouble situation that we've been in with this game, let's be fair, it's been a pretty troubled situation. You know, even, even I've been disappointed with some things through this whole campaign, you know. Uh, but if you're if you're like me, who somebody who kind of stalled playing the game because of the controversy, you're like, well, let me take a step back. I'm going to take a break from playing, right? I encourage you as well let's to come back and let's play the game again because everything that I've ever seen anybody complain about in the Discord server has basically been addressed by at this point in the Tabletop Simulator mod. The gameplay variety is there. The gameplay balance is there. This is an incredible game. And everybody who worked on this game, y'all did an incredible job. And also, MG did not have to release all of the files on Tabletop Simulator for us. They didn't have to do that, all right? But they did. And the reason they did is because they know what game they have here. And this game is incredible. And so basically, I mean, that's basically it. So the conclusion is, you know, I'm making this video one to just uh, address some of the things going on with the channel, but two, I just wanted, I just wanted to address the state of the game. I just wanted to to make another video and talk about how how great of a place the actual game itself is is in at this point. And what's not in a great place, unfortunately, is the community. Uh, the community has become really divisive for obvious reasons. Uh, but you know, what I'm hoping will happen with this video is that I'm hoping some people will watch it, and I'm hoping it will jumpstart some more activity in the Discord server again. I, I'm ready to play some games again. You know, I've got some free time now. I'm ready to finish the Year Zero tournament. So, like, I just want to encourage everybody, let's let's hop back into the Discord server. Let's play some Six Siege again because the state of the game is really good. And the fact that we're that the game is in production and we're getting our physical copies probably sometime in the beginning of next year, things are looking up. Things are looking up um, for Six Siege. Um, for those of you who weren't able to pay the contribution or didn't want to, you can still play the game, which is crazy awesome. Um, for those who did pay the contribution, we're getting our game soon. So either way you look at it, things are looking up for the Six Siege community. So let's actually get some activity going back again. I miss this game. I miss playing with people. Let's play some more Six Siege.